I really don't want to answer this. <laughs> I Can I skip this? <laughs> Why did I not expect this? I'm actually surprised this wasn't the first question. Do you mean the time when my ex worked at McDonald's and we were supposed to hang out, but he forgot he had a shift? So just to feel closer to him, I sat in his car his entire shift for eight hours. If you don't know how hot truth works, here's how we do it, okay? You have an opportunity to ask me any question you would like, okay? It can be anything. When you guys submit a question, you want it to be a question that will make it so I have to eat something spicy. Once I get to the third question, okay? Once I get to the third one where I skip it, I have to eat two bites of ghost pepper ramen. We did it the last time. It is fucking vile. This time I did get milk. So submit everything and, you know, we'll be good. It's not old this time, right? It's from the same box. I forgot that that one was expired. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me look. Let me look. June 6th, 2023. I forgot that one was expired. I really did. I really did. I swear to God. Don't sit. Okay. Okay, Mushi, don't sit right there. You gotta. All right, first question of the day. Ready? Are you planning on joining an org? Um, no. I don't really planned on it. I shouldn't say no like I'm not, because I think that's not true. I think if I could, I would. But it fully depends on a lot of things in my life. I think it depends on a lot of things in my life. So I'm not like, uh, what's it called? I'm not not open to the idea, but I have to make sure that, uh, you know, it's, it's good. Also, am I wrong? I feel like orgs are not a thing anymore. I feel like orgs are not anything anymore. Now it's about friend groups. Anybody agree? I think that is very true. FaZe just did it. Yeah, but see, like, I would argue that, like, even though FaZe is, like, an org now, right? Like, FaZe is cool because they're all friends with each other. Thoughts? Yeah, I think AMP is a good example of that, too. Like, they, they all, like, like each other. You know what I mean? And they all, like, do shit together. And I think that that's becoming, like, the new wave. Long story short, I was out of a five-year relationship at the time. And I decided I was going to DM this guy who I thought was cute, who was a streamer. Uh, and ask him if, you know, he wanted to play <laughs> If he wanted to play games sometimes. Because I, I was trying to riz. Okay, I was trying to riz. I'm going to pull it up on my phone so I don't accidentally leak it on my PC. And, uh, I'm just going to read it to you. I'm not blocked, am I? Oh, I'm not blocked. Thank God. So, on this day, I sent these Michael Scott finger guns. Okay. I started with that. <laughs> I started with that. I followed it up by writing this message. Hey, explanation point. I'm just doing a DM slide here. Sorry if this is awkward sounding. I don't do these very well. Also, I'm not sure if you're single or, and so if not, then I really apologize for this DM. Anyways, I was wondering if you would like to be friends or possibly chat sometime. Um, I'm interested in doing so. Okay, thanks. Goodbye smiley face now i want to note that this dm is written in email format because at the time i was working at a restoration company okay and so i wrote it in email format you know sincerely sent up and then i realized that that was uber cringe uber uber cringe so i was like this is really bad i i was like embarrassed so then uh, two hours later, I'm realizing, okay, two hours later, the first one was sent. Oh my god, I sent it at 7 in the morning? I DM slid at 7 in the morning? Is that Riz? Who just called me a freaky frog, all right? I feel like I'm hanging out with Marcus, all right? Like, <laughs> I'm not a freak, bro. I'm not a freak. At 9 in the morning, I messaged saying, I'm not gonna lie, I'm realizing this is really cringe, so please, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know there's a two hour. I never knew there was a two hour time gap between those messages. I know there's a two hour time gap between the other messages, but not this one. This I didn't know there was a two hour time gap. And I'm realizing it as I'm telling the story, which is, oh, it hurts. It actually hurts. It gets worse every time I tell it. So then I, you know, I wanted to, I, I was like, oh, I got a response at 
you know, an hour later, an hour later. And they said, <laughs> he said, it's okay. I don't think it's cringe and it's respectable. I don't really date streamers though. Uh, you're attractive and you know, I am single, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not interested. Thank you though. And they said, don't feel bad about it. I'll never mention this on stream. So don't worry. <laughs> They, that's, which means they probably thought it was embarrassing enough that they were like, yeah, don't worry, I'll never mention this on stream, which is even worse, which is even worse, okay? So then I responded and I said, no, it's all good, you know? Uh, I, thank you for keeping it hush and da 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 and I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. That's what I said. And then he responded saying, you know, no, you're good, Cinna. okay? I don't know why, I just didn't leave it there. I didn't leave it there. It gets worse, it gets worse. Okay, because I was, uh, I was, <laughs> I was like so nervous and I thought this guy was like so cute at the time. Like I thought he was just like the cutest guy ever. So I was like, oh my gosh, I hope that we could still be friends. You know what I mean? And I was like down bad. Okay. And I was like, I had gotten out of our relationship for five years. Okay. So I was desperate. Okay. I was desperate. I want to clarify. I was out of a five year relationship. I was not on my A game, okay? So I then responded and said, <laughs> at 11.30, okay, at 11.30, I said, hopefully it's not awkward and I can still type in chat, but trust me, I'm good over here. I don't want it to be weird. And then at 11.37, I messaged again saying, if you ever want to play Mario Kart sometimes or something like that, and I, okay, I was trying to say in a friend way, if you ever want to play Mario Kart, we should play as friends is what I was trying to say. Because at the time, I was like loving, I was like, I was like new into Mario Kart. I was like really excited. And like, I was watching like, you know what I mean? I was watching like all these people that were like going through this wave of playing it. And I was like super excited, right? I was super excited. So I was like, man, maybe I can actually like, you know, play play with some friends and also like make a friend. Um, And then, and I was trying to say, play, I was, what I was trying to say was play, at, like play as friends but then you guys know me whenever i write messages uh i make a lot of typos and i also get really nervous so i started backtracking everything i was saying and rephrasing the sentence so that that way it looked really nice okay and when i did i accidentally wrote if you're ever down to play mario kart not in a friend way just let me know smile enjoy your day Oh, and I didn't mean to. Okay, and I didn't mean to. I was trying to say if you ever want to play games, but I was going to say not in that way, but then I changed it to in a friend way, but I accidentally left the not in. So, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so that message was sent at 1137, but it gets worse. <laughs> I sent another message two hours later at 130. And at 130, I sent a message saying, wait, I'm realizing I, I meant, I said not in a friend way, but I meant in a friend way. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Ah, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Major apologies. Space, space, only in a friend way. In all caps, exclamation point, exclamation point. Space again. I respect your boundaries. And it was a nervous typo. I'm so sorry again. Okay, I'm serious. Have a nice day. Goodbye. It's a new message five minutes later. I sent another message that said, sorry, that was a huge typo. Nervous hands. Okay, enjoy your day. I would dead ass block you. <laughs> was your first impression of each AMP member also love you, Cinna? They were all really nice. All really nice. Everybody was like super nice to me. Um, and I, to be honest with you, I don't even think that any of them knew that I was going because it was so last minute that I was going. And then when I met them, they just, you know, were all like really nice people. Like actually, I don't think there was one negative interaction that I had meeting anyone there. Everyone was like super welcoming. And obviously I'm kind of like a little oddball. You know what I mean? And, and I'm just kind of there like meeting people and I didn't know anyone and everyone already knew each other.
So they were all getting along, and, and everyone was, was great. The only thing I regret is calling Duke Captain Atlanta to his face. That's the only thing I regret. You know, big regrets there, and there's nothing I can do to take that back. That that was Pete Cringe. That was that was uh that was Pete Cringe. So <laughs> you're so dumb for that. Okay, all right. Does that make me dumb, chat? Is there any crazy fan interaction or DM you have yet to share with the stream? There is one. I had a dude. I had a scare. Uh, was it last year? There was. I've shared the one about the girl who thought she was dating me. I've already shared that. Um, that was pretty wild. Uh, cause remember there's like some girl, remember I told you guys years ago that she thought she was dating me. And then all of a sudden I opened up my Instagram DMs cause I like to check them sometimes. And she sent me like 13 messages that were all her breaking up with me because the relationship she felt was one-sided. And I said, yeah, no fucking shit. I'm like, what? what, what are you talking about? Yeah, and she also come to find out then she was racist as fuck. Yeah, Fluffy remembers that. But there was a, she matched your freak. Okay, don't say she matched my freak like that's my level of freak. Let's just, you know, let's cut that off right now. She is not matching my freak. She excelled it, all right? Anyways, uh, the most recent one I had was someone that wasn't even like an avid chatter. And they always like said that in my DMs. Uh, but they were just in my DM request talking to themselves. Pretty bad. They were like pretty like weirdly aggro about stuff. Cause like, for example, I've always maintained the stance that like, uh, I just keep my, my private life private, right? Like I've always said, I don't do, I don't do dating content. I, I don't think anybody thinks that I do dating content. I don't give a fuck, you know? So for me, it's always been my private life is private. And that's the only reason why I keep it private is because at the end of the day, uh, you know, I feel like so much of my life is online that I want, you know, my personal life to be offline. I feel like a lot of streamers are like that. And uh, this guy was like DMing me um, every single day. And he would send me about 100 messages a day. And it was weird because I kind of couldn't block him because I didn't want him to know that I was seeing the messages. Um, but he would send me messages basically being like, oh, you ended stream at this time, but then you were gone for this day. Wonder if you're cheating on me with such and such. And it got like pretty bad. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, and it was, it was crazy. Like I've never spoken to this person in my life uh, and I was pretty like scared. So that's why I take like security stuff pretty seriously. I don't fuck around with that at all. It was, it was wild, so. That's why I was like, no, thank you. You know what I mean? Not going to do it. They were like, bro, like every day they were literally like telling me. I remember they were telling me about like they would like literally get off work and like tell me about like their job, like as if we were having like a conversation at dinner. It, like it was wild. Like I remember like I had to bring the text down to like watch and like we had to like figure out a game plan of how to like get rid of it because I was like, I don't know what the f to do. You know what I mean? People, people just get, you know, attached. I'm like, mm -mm, no, thank you. You know, and now, now he's, he's stopped. Actually, conveniently enough, he broke up with me too. <laughs> if little Cinna was watching C today, Cinna, would she be proud? Dude, I think little Cinna would be like, what the fuck? And little Cinna didn't even cuss. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like, like I said, I grew up in a house where like our lights, like I'd come home and our electricity bill wasn't paid and our lights would be cut off. Like that's how I grew up. So being where I'm at now and being able to like fly places and everything, that shit is like uh, something that is life changing. And I think little me would be like, damn, what? You know, it's it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Little Cinna seeing like how like I was able to buy my dad and like my sister the PS5s and stuff this year. That shit is like, it's life changing. And you guys do not understand. Like as if any of you in chat can relate and you grew up like, uh, in, in a low income household, right? Like I, I've told this story many times on stream, but we were blessed to even live in the house we did because my grandparents owned it. We could not afford to even live in the townhouse that we lived in. You know, that being said, like I remember we snuck turning on the water when they would turn off the water. Uh, we were able to turn it back on. It, it was definitely not legal, but just in order to like take showers and stuff like that's my background. And so, and my dad, like that is no shade to my dad. My dad is a single father that raised us um, by himself like my, my dad's the goat you know now little Senna, yeah yeah like all jokes aside little Senna would be freaking freaking out and be like holy shit like 
do not take this for granted. And that is something that I always think about when I'm like planning streams is that I don't want to take it for granted because little me would be like, do not fumble this. This is like the craziest shit ever. And it is. It actually is. So I'm very happy. You know what I mean? I got nothing but love in my heart for my family uh, and, and everyone around me. So it's, it's great. Why did I not expect this? I'm actually surprised this wasn't the first question. You know what I mean? I'm just surprised it wasn't the first question. No, no. I literally treat those guys like they are my good guy friends. And that is it. And that is it. That is the honest truth. Me, Agent, Chris, and AIM are all just good friends. That's it. We're all good friends. And I love uh, being friends with people that you know, treat me like a friend. Cause you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, dating content or I don't do any of that. I just kind of vibe. Uh, and, and they just kind of vibe with me. And that's why, you know, I fuck with them because they fuck with me. And that's really cool. I love it. It didn't, it didn't feel great because I don't really say it. I don't say it. So to me, I, stop saying cap. You guys know I don't say it. That's why it was such a big deal for you. You can't just say cap and lie on the internet. All right? You you can't do it. I really don't want to answer this. <laughs> Can I skip this? <laughs> After my first time, I thought I was gay. <laughs> I was fully convinced. I was like, I've got to be gay. Like, I literally remember, I remember like, leading up to it right and girls in the chat you can relate to this okay you can relate to this i i literally and maybe guys too because it's kind of awkward like i feel like everybody's first time is really awkward and in my first time like i remember the guy I was dating he was like so excited right and um you know we we went to go do the deed you know the deed and um i was you know not really vibing with you know the whole thing personally and uh I was like, you know, but I'm, I'm, you know, it's been a while. So like, you know, I was just kind of like feeling awkward, if that makes sense. Like I was feeling really awkward. And then, uh, and then, you know, we, we got to the action and it sucked. It fucking sucked. I remember like sitting there and, and I was like, yo, like I'm, I'm gay. I'm gay. Like I, and I remember it really sucked because uh, my ex at the time, he was so excited. Yeah, I, I, you know, we start the deed and you know, like when you first are ever taking your first shot and everybody says how good it is. And then you take your first shot and you're like, oh, this tastes nasty. That's how it was. Like, I, like, I, like, I remember we were doing the deed and I was like, you know, just laying there and I was like, Damn, this sucks. I was like, damn. I was like, I like literally was sitting there and I was like, I've got to be gay. I've got to be gay. I was like, this is it. Like I, this is how I find out that I'm a lesbian. You know, everybody finds out in a certain way. And this is my story. And uh, I remember we left and we went to go for a walk at a park for like a date afterwards. And we took like a photo and he was like so excited like he was like oh my gosh like i'm literally gonna like remember this photo forever as like my first time and i was like i was like ew. Like, like, like i am not trying to remember this day buddy like not at all dude yeah so anyways chats uh just know that was my first time okay this was my first time and after that i found out i wasn't gay i i found out you know it works out. But you know, then I found out that, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It, it, it is what it is. Anyways, that was it. I just, I found out, I was like, oh, I think that I'm gay. And I think still to this gay, to this day. So... Still, still. Okay, we're just gonna move on. What is the most degen thing you've ever done? Actually, I was talking about this yesterday. I was talking to my friend Vince, and I was telling him how uh, he was saying he uh, had like a sad day or something like that. And I was telling him how, you know, the one time I ever had a sad day, I was walking up the stairs. I remember I was like breaking down and I was walking up the stairs and I had made a hot dog. So all I wanted to do was eat this hot dog with extra onions and ketchup and mustard on it, spicy mustard. And so I was walking up the stairs and I dropped it on the stairs. I just had a really bad day. And then of course I dropped it, dropped the hot dog and it rolled down the stairs. And then, yeah, it just rolled down. And I started crying on the stairs because I was like, God, this is the 
fucking worst. So I just started crying. But I was just so sad, and there was no more hot dogs in the house, and it's all I wanted. So I picked it up and I ate it. And I'm not sorry about it. I ate it. What is the cringiest thing? No! No, 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 no. No, 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 because there's multiple. There's multiple. Which one? Which one? Do you mean the time when my ex worked at McDonald's and we were supposed to hang out, but he forgot he had a shift? So just to feel closer to him, I sat in his car his entire shift for eight hours. So that way I could hang out with him on his lunch break. Girl, stand up, girl. Stand up. Stand up. Oh my God. That was the worst. That was actually, that's actually pee cringe. What do you mean that's not cringe? That's adorable. Stand up. You need to stand up now too, okay? That is not adorable. Do not sit outside of a man's work for eight hours just so you can spend time with him in his hot ass car, okay? Like I was a chihuahua in the summer with the windows down. Like that is the worst, all right? That is literally the worst. What is your worst parent teacher conference? <laughs> okay, my worst one is when I forged my grandma's signature on my progress report with colored pencil. And I got caught. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I got a C and I was too scared to show them that I got a C. So I thought I would forge my grandma's name and I used a colored pencil. And, and then my teacher brings in my grandma and goes, hey, like, I'm gonna just go ahead and assume you don't sign things with colored pencil. <laughs> and I was like, oh, ooh, <laughs> yikes. That's, uh, that is unfortunate. You know what I mean? That is really unfortunate. I don't think I can. It's TOS to say so. Well, I told you guys, Last year was the first year in my entire life I ever made 100K. I'm not joking you. I've told that already. Last year was the first year in my entire life I ever made 100K. It was fucking sick. It was so cool. Uh, after taxes? No, I was underneath 100K. <sighs> Am I? Okay. Hold on. Uh, chat, let me go get the hot water. We'll eat the spicy noodles. Are you ready? Look at all the red on the side. And the Ew. Oh. oh, they smell just as vile as they did the last time. Holy f ugh. How many bites do I have to eat? This is what it is. It's ghost pepper ramen. And it's also expired by one whole year because I left it in the pantry. And I was too lazy to buy new ones and I forgot that they were expired. Watch, I'm gonna tank this shit. I'm gonna have no fucking reaction. Watch, watch. 10 bites? 10? Okay, I'm just gonna use the fork because if I drop any, you guys are gonna complain and I need to eat these quick. Let me have a no reaction. Watch this, watch this. Oh my God. Dinner, this is your toilet speaking from the future. Do not take another bite and warning you. I, can't, I have to drink milk, I have to. I'm gonna power through. Five. I can't, I can't. Oh my God, I'm about to vomit. No, I can do it, I can do it. Nine. Ten. I need like milk to just sit on my lips. 